We have studied this sales ratio and times ratio. I advise you all to memorize this because if you go in logic manner in exam you are definitely going to goof up and if you are thinking that you have practiced this chapter in a proper manner so there is no chance of losing anything but I am telling you all definitely you will lose something so better learn this acronym there are 20 expenses and I have given you acronyms also so there is no harm in memorizing it and there is no chances that you will forget any of the expenses it is quite simple and you can memorize it and you can simply apply it and and we were talking about time ratio and sales ratio what does that mean so the time has came we need to start with time ratio what does time ratio means time ratio means see I told you date of purchase of business we'll take our story example was 1 4 2015 and date of incorporation incorporation was 1st July 2015 that means for the prior period of incorporation will be going into capital ratio uh, capital reserve the profit will be going in the capital reserve so now I'll show you the time how to calculate time ratio see from 1st April 2015 to 30 30th June 2015 it will become pre period that means pre incorporation period this will become pre incorporation period incorporation period and from 1 7 2015 to 31 3 2016 it will become post incorporation incorporation period so with the help of this with the help of this ratio we will be able to bifurcate the expenses into the pre-incorporation expense or pre-incorporation uh, pre-incorporation expense or post post incorporation expense or pre-incorporation income or post incorporation income okay I hope this is quite clear to you all but how to calculate the time ratio is very tricky many a times in the question they might give it in a simple manner date of purchase or date of incorporation this is a 12 month question sum but at time they may give a question like this date of purchase of business is say 1 1 2015 and date of incorporation in coil right is 1 7 uh, no not 1 7 we'll take 1 4 2015 that means that this is a 15 month sum how we'll see now from 1 1 2015 to 31st 3 2015 it is pre period okay and from 1 4 2015 to 31 3 2016 it is the post period we just simply need to bifurcate the expenses in this two periods that is pre period and post period and that's why the ratios have been formed if the post if the if the time ratio expenses like salary is there take example salary of rupees um, say 12,000 for easy understanding and we'll take our first example only okay we'll take first example salary is rupees 12,000 how to bifurcate divide in time ratio divide in that means time ratio so how you will be dividing you will be dividing like this pre post what is the ratio the ratio is C from 1 4 2000 uh, from 1 4 2015 to 30th 6 2015 it is three months we will write three months and from 1 7 that is 1st July 2015 to 31 3 2016 that is 31st March 2016 it is nine months so therefore the time ratio First of all, the time ratio will become 1 is to 3. 3 months and 9 months. So it will become 1 is to 3 and we'll simply divide it in the ratio of 1 is to 3. Let me take my calculator and show you all. So 12 divided by 4, which is equal to 3000. 3 and 3000 into 3 is equal to 9000. Okay. I know I should not take Kelsey for this but I need I want you all to I want you all to show something 
how to calculate the ratio many of the students don't know how to calculate the ratio that also is a problem we'll see it here 1 is to 3 is the ratio so simply first add this 2 and you will get 4 and divide the entire sum this entire sum the, of which you have to find out the ratio say 12,000 12,000 divided by 4 is equal to 3,000 into 1 which is equal to 3,000 into 3 the second ratio 1 is to 3 multiply 3000 into 3 and you will get 9000 so i hope you all have understood the time ratio time ratio is something very important and as per time ratio only the sales ratio will be formed okay so i hope you all have understood what is time ratio now first of all so firstly i want you all to please pause the video and copy this much I hope you all have copied. Now we'll see sales ratio. For sales ratio, firstly, first we need what we need. Firstly, we need TR that is time ratio. So in the question, it will be given when it is purchased and when it is incorporated. We are taking one is to three. So firstly, we need time ratio 1 is to 3 that we have taken from our previous sum only, previous example of the introduction, okay. After having the time ratio in the question it has been given, it will be given in this manner, sales throughout, sales throughout the year was uneven and it will be given that till uh, we'll take um, we'll take till 30th september 2015 the sales were equal and after 30th 9 2015 the sales have double the previous sales okay so what does this mean see from 1 4 2015 to 30th 9 2015 assume the sales was 1 okay don't take x over here okay take one how many number of ones is this from first uh, it is still september so april Ju april may june july august september that is into six months so the ratio first ratio is six and the remaining is 1 10 2015 to 31 3 2016 what the what it says okay i'll write let the normal sales be one okay so the normal sale is one and the question says it has double so into two double means into, into two and how many number of months six months so it becomes 12 that means the sales ratio the sales ratio is not 6 is to 12 okay it is not 6 is to 12 Firstly, understand this. The sales ratio is how C. The time ratio is 1 is to 3. That means from the time ratio is 1, 4, 2015 to 30th, 6, 2015, 3 months. And from 1, 7, 2015 to 31, 3, 2016, it is 9 months. So sales will be calculated in this manner only. We have been given in the question that for this number of months, six months, the sales was one. And for this number of months, the sales were two each month. So here we'll again multiply. 
will not multiply will just write it in this manner see for a better understanding for the, because this is the first time you all are doing that's why i'll be writing in this manner april may june july august september october november december january february march so as per we have solved from 1 4 2015 to 30 9 2015 it is 1 rupees sales okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this was the sales and for the remaining period from 1 10 2015 to 31 3 2016 it was rupees 2 sales okay but a pre period pre incorporation period is from april may april to june this is pre period and from here this total this total is the this total is the post period so firstly we will calculate 1 2 3 so pre period total is 3 this is post period will calculate 1 2 3 and this is 12 so 15 so the ratio of pre is to post is 3 is to 15 that is 1 is to 5 I hope this is quite clear to you. I took a lengthy explanation for this so that it gets synced in your brain. You should not, it should not bounce from your brain. Okay, so I hope you all have understood that for calculating time, uh, for calculating sales ratio, you firstly need time ratio. The number of sales, that is how the sale has occurred to, uh, throughout the year, you have to substitute in the time ratio in this manner. Because see, this three months, first three months was the pre period, and the remaining nine months was the post period. So for the first three months, it was 1111 rupees, and after that, till September it was still 1 1 rupees and after October it turned to rupees 2 rupees per sales per month sales I hope you are understanding this ok so firstly have I given you all time to copy the time ratio if not again I am giving please pause the video and copy this much Please pause the video and copy the sales ratio till year first. I hope you all have copied till year. Please copy the remaining part. So finally we get the sales ratio as 1 is to 5. So whatever the sales expenses are like BBC, ASS, C square T. That means bad debt, brokerage, commission to sales agent, travel agent, advertisement expenses, selling and distribution expenses, sales promotion, then carriage outward, cartage outward, tax audit. So whatever expenses are there will be bifurcated in the pre and post in the ratio of 1 is to 5. And for the time ratio, the time ratio expenses are stop. Mr. ED that is salary, telephone expenses, traveling expenses, telegram and postage, office and administrative expenses, printing and stationery, miscellaneous expenses, electricity expenses, rent expenses, rate and taxes, depreciation. So such expenses will be bifurcated in the ratio of 1 is to 3 for pre and post period. I hope this is quite clear now. I hope it is quite clear.